Hey. Hi. Thanks for coming over. Ugh, I need to tap out. Yeah, I don't doubt it. He's been on a bender since Tuesday. Have they talked at all? No, they haven't talked. He's just a mess. Are his parents here? No, they're out of town. You got the place all to yourself. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not staying inside all day with Captain Morgan. It's good to see your face. We should hang out more, like the good old days. All right. Good to see you. Yeah, you too. What are you doing here? Nice to see you too, Miles. It's been forever. Yeah, well, you really mastered the art of laying low. Well, the last few months have been really crazy for me. Is this your old room? Looks different. Yeah, my parents turned it into a guest room. It's very Hilton-esque. Thanks. I mean that in like a nice way, like, a, like an upscale Hilton. You know, not like a Hilton Express. Okay, dude, time to get up. Ah, what are you doing? You look pathetic, so we need to go outside. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, you are. Because I'm in charge of making sure you don't kill yourself, and there's lots of sharp objects and pills everywhere, so let's go. Becca, I appreciate the love, but I'm not in the mood. You got 10 minutes. I'm not going. Yes, you are. I'm not. Dude, stop feeling sorry for yourself. This room fucking stinks and you look like shit, so put some pants on and let's go. Becca, I love you. Fuck off. You know what you need? For you to leave me alone? You need some happy, sad music. What? Happy, sad music. Musically, it's uplifting, and lyrically, it makes you want to rip your heart out. Makes you feel better about being sad. Really, Miles? Unbreak my heart? Ooh. Here you go. Nobody cares for me. Nobody cares for me. I'm so sad. Stop. Wow. <laughs> Actually, sounds pretty good about now. Is this your car? Yep. You getting in? Nope. Nobody walks anywhere. <laughs> exactly. I, I, I don't want to walk. Dude, it's five blocks. I'm still hungover from last night. Weiner! Are you fucking serious with this parking job? Probably should walk. Wait up. Do you remember the day we met, Miles? I mean, by a vow, I think I'm still hungover from last night. It was the first day of school. Right. Do you remember what we did, Bueller? Oh my God, stop doing Bueller. that. Bueller. We, we ditched school, we walked around, we went bowling. Exactly, well, we're gonna do the same thing today. Not in the mood to go bowling. No, I'm not talking about going 
Cool. Well, actually, I could go bowling later. I don't have any socks with me. It's not the point. What's the point? The point is, we're gonna take the day, walk around, and talk our shit out. Our shit? What's your shit? I know my shit. You first. The woman I was planning on spending the rest of my life with just told me she cheated on me and we're supposed to get married in two weeks. Now I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. Can you top that? Uh, not this year. Didn't think so. Yeah. What's your shit? My shit. I think I might move to New York. That's crazy. Why? I know. I, well, do you remember my friend Erin? Yeah. Her and I have been planning this community art gallery since college. We'll sell our own art, we'll sell other people's art, we'll give classes, and we'll do like a community art project thing. I don't know, we've been working on it for a long time and we've both been saving, so now is the time. I think I'm gonna do it. You do realize how insane of an idea that is, right? Thanks, Miles. I mean, only the one percent are even spending any money on art. It's not community art. Where would you even live? You sound like my father. Oh, I'm glad somebody else is on the same page. Oh, and I have to let her know by tomorrow if I'm in or not. This is not the kind of decision you want to rush into. I'm not rushing into it. We've been working on it for over a year. We just found the perfect place, and we have to let them know by tomorrow if we want to do the down payment, so. Yeah, because there's like a real lack of rundown commercial space in New York. How? Why do you care if I move to New York? I don't care. I mean, I do, I do. It would, be, it would be weird not having you here. Sweet. So now I have to figure out my life's course with my cheating fiance because some slumlord in Brooklyn just said I need my money by tomorrow. What is that? What? What was that accent? It was just slum, slumlord. Yeah, pretty much. Eh, whatever, my, my head's spinning. I'm gonna go to sleep. Wake me up when you know your life's course. What is this? What's happening? This isn't the miles I know. Miles, you know I had a really rough week. <laughs> Do you remember why that day was so awesome, Miles? No. Because it was a day when everything in our lives was about to change, and instead of freaking out about new teachers and classes and new friends. We just, we hit pause and we walked around and we talked shit out and we took it all in. Went bowling. We went bowling. Played skee-ball. Yes. God, I miss playing skee-ball. Right? The app's not, the, it doesn't give it's you the same. It's not the same. Life was still there for us 24 hours later. It was. It's a different day, but it's the same situation. I don't know, lady. I'm not feeling Come it. Come on, do today. Today. Me and you, today. Come on. Are you in? Are you in? Are you in? Hold on. Come on. Hi. Miles, honey, I've called Sam's parents, and we've set up a powwow for tomorrow evening so we can all just sit down and sort this out together. A powwow? You're not supposed to be back from vacation until next week. Yeah, well, that was before we found out that the wedding we've already invested 20 thousand dollars in might be canceled yeah um i'm sorry i just i don't i don't know how i feel right now miles this is not just about you anymore so if you're splitting we need to remove the emotion mom okay? Money's involved. seriously your father and i are coming back for this all right we're a team we'll work it out together all right mom mom okay. i just no more arguments all right no more arguments we love you we're here for you we'll see you tomorrow Okay. Everything okay? Amazing. So are you in? No. Are you in? 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 Yeah, I'm in. Really? Okay, here are the rules. Really? There's rules? You always do that. What? You get me to decide on something and then you tell me the rules. You need to tell me the rules before I decide on it. Well, you already agreed, so sorry. <sighs> this is so fucking stupid. What are the rules? Okay, the rules are we do everything the way that we did them in high school. Not wearing cargo shorts. Thank God. No, I mean, we didn't drive in high school. We didn't have cars, so there's no driving today. Can we get rides? Did we get rides in high school? It's a loaded question. You got rides in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Then yes, we can get right. 
Okay. Is that it? Uh, no cell phones. Fuck no. Dude, oh. we're not checking them all day. Come on. You first. Same time. What about my iPod? Your iPod? Yeah. You have an iPod? Yes. That's what this is for. I don't keep my music on my iPod. Oh my god. All right. As much as I'd love to see you rock a boombox on your shoulder all day, your second iPhone will be fine. Your match. You want to talk about it? No. Cool. So what else is going on in your life? Um, she gets home from work on Tuesday night. And uh, I had already had, like, a suspicion that she'd been reading my diary. What? You have a diary? Yeah. Are you trying to make me feel better? I'm sorry. Anyway, I always put the bookmark in the back by the spine, and a couple times I saw it in the middle. Wow, Nancy Drew is on the case. <laughs> what, were you fighting or something? No, I mean, most days were cool, but some days it just seemed like she was just kind of like looking right through me. I just didn't think anything had gone that far. Right, so it's weird because she's being distant. Yeah, yeah, but I just didn't think it had gotten extreme. So what happened? She denied that she read my journal. And I told her she was lying. Oh, that's bold. Yeah. How did you know she was lying? Because I knew she was lying, and then she just laces into me about how, like, I can't trust her and how fucked up that is that I can't trust the person I'm going to be spending the rest of my life with and that all my insecurities drive her crazy, and then she decides to tell me that she's... that she cheated on me. <gasps> Holy shit. Yeah, she fucking sucked. I was blown away, and I'm like, there's no way you cheated on me. You're lying about that. Well, how did you know that she... Wait, how did you know she read your diary? Because I read her diary. Miles. All right, let me know if you need something, sweetie. So did she write anything about this guy in the diary? No. Can I get you something to drink? Um, coffee, please. OK. Yeah, and uh, can I have a coffee and a water? Yep. And a uh, Diet Coke? OK. And a um, chocolate milkshake. OK. And a mimosa. So you could bring them all out as they're ready. So what'd you do when she told you she cheated on you? Freaked out. I mean, it's like all my worst fears coming true. My whole life, I just wanted a relationship like my parents. You know, like they fight, they bicker like everybody else. But underneath it all, there's like this love and respect and I'm like a, like a genuine friendship. And I don't, I don't know if we ever had that. So I left the apartment and uh, I've been home ever since. And you haven't talked to her? She called, but she didn't leave a message. You can call her back? I don't know if I'm ready to talk to her. Miles! Can no. I please have my phone no, back? No, it's against the rules. I'm not going to look. Trust me, it's for the best. Whatever. It is. You didn't seem too thrilled about whoever it was that you were talking to on the way over here. Who was that? My mom. Oh, how's she doing? She and my dad are coming home from vacation early tomorrow. And they've already had a talk with Sam's parents, and we're having a powwow to talk it out. Wow, that's a thing that's going to happen? I tried to talk her out of it, but she said a lot of money had been invested in the wedding, and it was about more than just me and Sam. Damn, those Jews know how to guilt. Yeah, oh, perfect timing. Champagne, morning beverage of life. Cheers. Lachan. Thanks. My coffee? Just tell me who called. No. Trust me, it's better this way. I'm gonna go pee out of my dick. Is there any other way? Out of my butt? It's gross. And unnecessary. Yeah, we're Yeah, you wanna come pick me up? I can do that. Where do you live? Well, I have a herpes support group on San Vicente, but I'll be finished around 8 o'clock, so you can pick me up there. It's really funny. No, 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 you don't have to be worried. I haven't had a breakout in like a week. Valtrex really works, you know? Uh, great, yeah. Let's see what's uh, going on here. Yeah. Take care. Don't be silly. Protect your willy. Thanks for brunch, Miles. Thanks for getting me out of the house. 
So I have to stop by the gallery to pick up my check. Can you find something there to keep me busy for a few uh, minutes? Art sounds depressing. Miles, it's Sam, your fiance. Um, look, I really fucked up. Please call me. I don't know why you're not answering my phone calls, but it's really important that we talk. Yo. Hey. You could call in the happy sad music, it works. What are you listening to? NWA, I ain't the one. Did you do what you had to do? Yeah, my boss is such a bitch. Why? She's cutting like half my shifts. New York's looking good about now. Better every second. What do you think it's called? Fuck you, bitch. Emphasis on the you. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I mean, it's. It's obvious the artist came home from a vacation, a fancy European castle he took his girl to. She was like a bitch the entire time. They ended up breaking up, and when he came home to America, he, he painted the castle. It's called So This Is Love, and it is Sleeping Beauty's castle at Disneyland, which is literally the happiest place on Earth. Mm. So you're looking at the painting? Mm -hmm. See, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of looking beyond the painting at the subtext. Subtext, right, yeah. What about this one? Mm, it's a vagina. You know, it's a closed vagina. It's a vagina he's never gonna have again. And this girl cheated on him. He's left, he's over it. And uh, now it's just a dusty, locked away, closed badge. Uh, this one is called Donazione. And it is Michelangelo, the day before he starts painting the Sistine Chapel. It represents, you know, possibilities are endless, with an open heart, a masterpiece that you can create with love. I don't see Michelangelo. It's right there in the middle, holding a paint can. Uh, once again, the subtext. Oh, what about this one? We should go. And he's being sarcastic. Yeah. No, there should be like an exclamation point or like a, like a happy face or something, you know? This is where I hide on my lunch break. It's also subjective. Like, who decides what's good art and what's bad art? We do. Maybe you do, working in that fancy schmancy gallery, but not me. <laughs> no, I meant you decide whether you like it or not. Just because it's in a museum or a gallery, it doesn't mean that it's good or bad. You have to decide if you like it for yourself. Yeah, but it's not about talent. It's like more important to be a good salesman than a good artist. It's not true about everything in life. I hope not. I suck at selling myself. <laughs> no, I, I don't care. I don't care. Tell that bitch ten mother of yours to get here. I don't get traffic. We know there's traffic in Los Angeles, sweetie. We know that, but I need you here now. Now, I've got a meeting with Zac Efron in ten minutes, baby. No, no, you can't beat him. No, he's too old for you. That's exactly the reason I never want to be good at selling myself. That guy's a complete douche. Yeah, I know. That's why I don't want to live in L.A. anymore. Yeah, but that guy's not from L.A. He's a transplant. People from L.A. are actually cool. It's all these douches that move out here after watching too much Swimming with Sharks and Entourage. They think you have to be a complete asshole to make it in L.A., but really they're just ruining it for the people who actually have, like, a vision and a decent moral compass. Isn't Sam from L.A.? So? She's really cool, Miles. Have you thought about maybe trying to work it out? It's just a thought. I mean, of course I've thought about it. I, I've thought about everything. I can't stop thinking. Problem is, I don't know what I want. And I haven't spoken to her, so I don't know what she wants. And honestly, I don't even know if I care what she wants. I kind of want to know what I want before I talk to her. Makes sense. Well, you can't answer it. I don't want to. Oh, hey, there you are. Back, back. This is Dad. 
Uh, boy, am I sorry that I uh, screamed at you so much on the phone earlier. I didn't mean to be that loud. I just was a little bit more than surprised that you were suddenly going to move to New York and leave your job here. So anyway, uh, just give me a call back and we can discuss. I'm sorry. It just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So, bye. Shouldn't we be a little more low profile? Always a sketcher in every group. What? You no, know, it's like the first first rule of smoking weed is every group has somebody who completely bugs out. I knew it wasn't going to be me. I'm just saying, we're not even pretending to hide it. But that's what they expect you to do. You know, like if you're just like walking around public in the middle of the day smoking weed, no one's going to see it because they're not expecting it. But if you're like you know, hiding behind a dumpster, like tucked down in some shrub, it looks shady. Plus, it's practically legal. I can't believe you're a teacher believe it. We need a uh, new mission. How about we go around Los Angeles and we try and find the most beautiful thing we've never seen? Way too upbeat for me right now. <laughs> OK, I'll look for the most beautiful thing and you look for the ugliest. Now we're cooking with gas. This is for both of us. Thanks. Just because you can't hear us doesn't mean we can't smell your fart. I actually can't smell it anymore. Um. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, his name is Eric Abrams, but his friends call him Gay Rums. Occupation? Oh, he does a uh, valet down at the Biltmore, but he's an aspiring barista. Place of origin? Duh, Florida. Let's check it out. <laughs> No. Where are you from? Huh? Where are you from? Houston. Oh, that's cool. Is it? Uh, yeah. I guess not. Do we have any other questions? What are you listening to? Do you really care? Are they good? Yeah. <laughs> nice work, by the way. Thank you. Oh God, it's so gorgeous out today. Are you really ready to move? New York's freezing. Everybody just complains about the weather there. It's like how we complain about traffic. I know, I know, but I've, I've been talking about it forever. I feel like if I don't actually do it, I'm just gonna always be a talker. You, you gotta know? be smart about it. You can't be like, I have to decide in one I day. I am, kind of Miles, I've been talking about it forever. So then what's the debate about? Honestly, my dad you guys, you know, my friends. What'd your dad say? Ah, oh, same shit you did. What about your savings? Where are you gonna live? Blah, blah, blah. It's just... <sighs> you know, he'd never say it, but he'd be lonely without me. You know, I take care of him. Does he ever get out? Yeah, he's gone on a few dates. Um, I don't know. It's. I think it's hard for him, you know, because uh, it feels like he's cheating on my mom. That sucks. Yeah, it's, it's hard. I Sometimes he calls me by her name by accident. It's just... How are you holding up? Depends. Sometimes I wake up and I forget that she's gone. Can we talk about something else? Oh, yeah, sorry. It's totally not proper stoner talk. Ugliest thing in L.A. Let's go. Found it. Ugliest thing I've never seen in L.A. Nickelback in the wheel turn. <laughs> I wonder how Beck feels about that. He's playing on Friday. Probably the same way Gene Kelly, Frank Sinatra, Judy Garland feel. They're all rolling over in their graves. They used to run the street back in the day. All the Hollywood bigwigs, they lived around here. My dad grew up around here. Quality time with my dad would be him taking me around all the neighborhoods, explaining the history, the architecture. Dad watching Rodgers and Hammerstein musicals. You must have tried with all your might not to go gay. Wasn't easy. Still doubt it sometimes. 
And when I'm in the car singing alone to Whitney Houston. Early Whitney? How will I know? Uh, I want to dance with somebody. Oh, yeah, you can't not sing along to the late, great Whitney Houston. R.I.P. What was down here? Wasn't it the, uh, the amps, the... Ambassador. The ambassador and the coconut grove, right? Yeah. They tore those down? Yeah, they built a $600 million high school. Six hundred million. Yeah, yeah. Let's just tear down a really important piece of LA history, lay off thousands of teachers during a depression, and build a six hundred million dollar high school. Yeah. We love it. <laughs> where yeah. Bing Crosby first sang, where Marilyn Monroe first signed a contract to become a model, where Robert Kennedy was assassinated. Now the most expensive school in the history of America. That building better be able to fly. It's like, how many teachers could you pay for $600 million? Our system is so fucked. You got the sloppy joes are off the chain. <sighs> Whatever. I'm just a cog in the wheel. I stopped practicing law because I actually wanted to try and help people, but sometimes I feel like teaching's no better. What? Your kids love you, Miles. Yeah, but they can't fire the old shitty teachers, which is why I might not have a job next year. These are the same teachers that, like, ream out a kid if they're two seconds late for class, but they won't just pull him aside, have a conversation if he's flunking. You might get laid off. They fired everyone under me, so I would be next. Oh, God. I know it's hard. You gotta stick with it, you know? It's really important that there's teachers who actually care. Yeah, but I don't understand why you would ever get into teaching if you don't like kids. You know what I mean? I, I feel like sometimes my kids are the only people I believe in. What's up, fag? Fuck you, you little shit. Too bad your girlfriend doesn't know that you're a fag. Too bad I'm not his girlfriend. She does know he's a fag. <laughs> Couldn't have been my girlfriend for like two seconds. Oh, sorry. I could be a girlfriend for two seconds. Whatever, I take it back. Fuck kids, too. Yeah, fuck kids. Man, you held your own, though. <laughs> <laughs> I have bad news. Even though Nickelback at the Will Turton is hideous, it can't be used for the ugliest thing in Los Angeles. Why not? Because you've seen a hundred shitty bands at the Will Turton. It has to be something you've never seen before. It sucks. Game still. <laughs> it's weird. How many people do you think live on this street have any idea what kind of crazy shit used to go down here? Mm, not a lot. It's like this entire area has had its history completely erased. Does anybody care? Jesus, Miles, yes, people care. Do the people of Koreatown care? No, probably not. The people of Koreatown are worried about putting food on the table and cheap rent. Koreans and Mexicans don't care about history and culture? Wow, nothing worse than a well-intentioned white person. <laughs> I'm just saying, not everyone in L.A. grew up with a dad who was trying to turn them gay. You yeah, know, I'm just saying, why make history if no one's going to remember it? Do you need a hug? I feel like you need a hug. I do. A hug would be nice. Miles, it's not up to you or I to save history today. Leave that up to the L.A. Conservancy. They can be pissed about it. We've got too much on our plates. I'm a member of the LA Conservancy. Oh, of course you are. you answer if you let me check my messages. No phones today. Who is he? Just a guy that I was seeing. What happened? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, I don't know, I kind of flaked on him a few times and he was really nice about it and said that I didn't seem that into it and I should give him a call when I wanted to rock. He actually told you to call him when you wanted to rock? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. <laughs> Did you call him? No, I respect the move, though. I respect the move. I would have called him and told him I wanted to rock. It's all about the timing, you know? Sometimes if things are a few months earlier or a few months later, everything could turn out differently. But if the timing's off, then the timing's off. Did you see Jeremy this morning? Yeah, I saw him for a minute. How'd that go? Oh, God. 
We're fine. Whatever. It's cool. He still talks about you a lot. Oh, good for him. This morning he said, we should hang out like old times. Wow. Yeah. You're not still interested, are you? The guy who cheated on me? Yeah, I can't wait to have his babies. How'd you forgive him? The first time? Yeah. The first time I pretended like it never happened. Yikes, that's hard. The second time I dumped his ass and had sex with someone with a much bigger dick. Oh. So I had to find a woman with like a much bigger vagina. No, yeah, opposite. That doesn't work. Tighter. That's what I was gonna say. Tighter is more revenge. The tighter, the better. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Hey, he doesn't know that you're the one who told me that he was cheating on me, right? God, no. I hope not. I mean, I never told him. I don't remember what I said. Oh, I said I could see it in your eyes. I just stared at him and said it like four times until he started to cry. <laughs> he thinks I have ESP. He totally does. That's it. He keeps telling me that he knows that you know that he's thinking about you and that when you're ready, you're going to come back. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> Tool. <sighs> Any other guys in your life other than Rock and Eric? No, oh, not really. You know, relationships are hard. Tell me about it. Women are crazy. Not what I meant. Oh, well, it's true. Nice. What did you mean, Becca? Oh, thank you, Miles. What I meant was I'm super picky, you know? And I know pretty quickly if I'm interested in someone or not. And if I'm not, I don't want to waste their time or mine. Too many people get into a relationship because it's convenient or they're lonely, and I don't want that to be me. So you knew that you weren't into Eric? No, no, not necessarily. So you're not really giving yourself a chance? Yes, Miles, I'm giving myself the chance. Do you have a guy who says the most awesome thing ever, call me when you want to rock, and you don't call him, he obviously likes you. And this is the same guy you just said two seconds ago, you didn't know if you liked him or not, so how's that giving yourself a chance? I don't know, Miles, you know, I'm I don't know, why am I playing right now? I'm moving to New York, maybe, and I'm dealing with my dad. I, I just feel like I went from taking care of my mom to taking care of my dad, and I don't have the time or energy to take care of somebody else right now. Yeah, a relationship shouldn't be about taking care of somebody else. It should be about the two of you taking care of each other. Really? Relationship advice? <laughs> yeah, I guess I should talk. I hear what you're saying. I get it. It's just, I don't know, relationships seem Daunting. I haven't been single in a while. That seems daunting. Do me a favor. If you get back together with Sam, just don't do it because you're afraid of being alone. I mean, you just turned 30. Your value is going way up. Mine's moving in the opposite direction. Your aura's off. Yeah, I've had kind of like a rough week, so. Not you, her. Oh, you're talking about her? I agree. I What's agree. wrong with my aura? Beets. What? Beets. You need to eat more beets. They're magical. Beets. Beets. Thank you. What about mine? You're cool, man. Good vibes. Thanks, really? Thank Thanks, man. Ugh. He's the expert. Yeah, I don't know about that. Thank you. Beets. Beets. Beat store, obviously. Follow me. Where'd you go? It's weird. It's like she was the one. She was the one I was gonna spend most of my life with. A couple weeks ago, everything was fine. And now, it's not like I think there's one person out of six billion that I could be happy with, but there's not a lot of girls out there that aren't. Crazy. Everybody's crazy, Miles. 
People who aren't a little bit crazy are boring. You just have to find someone who's your type of crazy. Sam was my kind of crazy. How's that? She could like shotgun a beer faster than I can. She, she could speak intelligently about every proposition in the upcoming election. She knew every word to regulate her. <laughs> she makes me laugh. So the question is then, can you still trust her? I don't know. That's what you gotta figure out. I'm pathetic. Why? I read her fucking diary. Like, how sad is that? If I just didn't do that, everything would be fine right now. It's not your finest moment, Miles, but we've all done stupid things. I mean, you had a feeling that something was wrong, and you were right. I gotta give her credit. She puts up a lot of my shit. I'm not clean. I get wasted with the boys. I come home, I like wake her up for sex. <laughs> Sweat profusely. I've got hair. Okay, 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 okay. You're literally describing every non homosexual man there is, so let's not give her props for liking men. Yeah, okay. but she's like. Miles! You're amazing. Whoever you choose is gonna be incredibly lucky, whether it's Sam or not. You're, you're smart, you're confident, you're really good with kids and animals. You're an incessantly positive person. You have an amazing outlook on life, although maybe not the last three days. You're, uh,. What else? You're hilarious, and you're sweet, and you're so talented. Keep going. This is great. I'm enjoying this. I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> Stop being such a bitch. I'm actually surprised we never hooked up. Wee! Sorry, I, mean, I don't want to make it awkward. What did you mean to make it? I just mean, like, considering all the drunken nights we've spent together in the last 15 years, you'd think, yeah, maybe something like that could have happened. <gasps> we proved when Harry met Sally wrong. Go us. Fist bump. Hey. We did kiss one time, though. I mean, it wasn't a big deal. You were. Blackout. <laughs> it was the summer before senior year when we went up to Santa Barbara for the flame we lived store. Jeremy and Nicole went back into the bedroom to smoke pot, and you said, if I smoke pot, I'm going to throw up all over the world. So <laughs> I stayed out on the balcony with you, and then you looked at me, and you gave me that same shitty grin that you're doing right now, and you said, if we kiss, that neither of us would ever throw up again for our entire lives. Okay. And then you kissed me. Wish I had been right. Oh my God, me too. You threw up everywhere. <laughs> Over the balcony under that woman who was a few stories down. Oh man, she was so pissed. And I passed out and you went back into the hotel and to Jeremy's room and you guys started dating after that. Yeah. Crazy night. Can I tell you something? Always. I wasn't blacked out. Dude, you were fucking gone. But I wasn't blacked out. You shit. I had a crush on you. What? You were dating Nicole. Yeah, but that train was coming to its last stop, you know? We broke up like four days later. Why didn't you ever say anything? I was nervous. No, Miles, you are not a nervous guy. It's weird to take something from the friend zone into the romantic zone. All right, well. Good to know that that doesn't bother you anymore. Uh, huh. No, whatever. It was like, it was, it was like a bunch of years ago, you know? I'm over it now. You remember that time, um, it was like a few days before that trip where you came over to my house? Yeah. Yeah, and it made you that bean dip and you said you had something important to tell me? I told you that I had a crush on Jeremy. I thought you were going to tell me you had a crush on me. Miles. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. That was like 13 years ago. I'm over it. You always treated me like I was your little sister. You used to give me noogies. Yeah, it was total friend zone back then, you know? But you, you grew on me. Yeah. When did you start liking me? 
middle of junior year. Went to your house, I knocked on the door, no one came to the door, so I just kind of walked around and looked in your window and I saw you just painting and listening to music and I just um, watched you for like an hour and a half. Creep! Taxi! Hilarious. <laughs> wow. Crazy. That is crazy. I had a crush on you since like the day I met you until I started dating Jeremy. No way. Way? Of course I had a crush on you. I've always had a crush on you. No way. I, always, I was the new girl and you were the dorky, funny guy who made me feel at home like right away. What wasn't there to like? I'm not disagreeing with you other than the dorky part. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, I never knew. I wasn't going to tell you. Crazy. See, that's what I mean. If our timing was a little different, who knows? Yeah, you could have been the one cheating on me. I could have been walking around with Sam all day. <laughs> Shut up. In the world of affairs, we live in our own age. In books, we live in all ages. LA Central Library. I actually just named it the Richard Reardon Library. Could have called it the Ray Bradbury Central Library. I mean, he spent his entire teenage years teaching himself to write in here. Fahrenheit 451 versus an old balding ex-mayor. Mm -hmm, tough decision. I like the LA Central Library best. So do I. Reardon's not even dead yet. You shouldn't be able to have a building named after you unless you're dead. What if you're super awesome? Well, then you would know you were super awesome and you don't need a fucking building to tell you that. I think I need a building to tell me that. Ah, uh, for you, I shall make an exception. <laughs>
this year. Oh, this week? Yeah. What time is it? Oh, uh, I don't know. Maybe like 4.30? I'm late. Should we go? Should we follow? Yeah, we should go. Good with families and children, bad with parking meters. That's the ugliest thing in LA. More sad than ugly. Let's go. It's sad though, you know, none of us are really that far from sleeping on the street. Speak for yourself, I'm not conversing with a parking meter. You've never talked to an inanimate object? We all hear voices in our head, Miles. Crazy people just say what they hear out loud. We're trained to keep it quiet. Wow. I was not expecting you to say something so profound. I actually need a moment to like process that. Take your time. Another difference is they smell. Did you not smell yourself this morning? Have a little compassion. Ugh. Feet hurt. Aw, poor baby. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, God. Oh, see how compassionate I'm being? Oh. Where are we going? No? No, I don't. I kind of like that. Yeah, me too, I guess. It's nice being able to just like enjoy the journey, not worry about the destination. We should put that on a t-shirt. We should. It's easier said than done. No, I think we could if we wanted to. Yeah? Yeah, like in Italy, when I was living there, those people know how to live. Tell me. Priorities are completely different. It starts out with family, then health, then work. Here it's complete opposite. Okay, so if we were living today based solely on Italian principles, what would today be That's like? That's a good question. We'd move back in with our parents. Okay. We'd watch a lot more soccer. We'd dress more fashionably. Speak for yourself. We would start using olive oil instead of butter. Drink more red wine. Yeah. You know, just generally have more fun. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Right? C, C. C. I gotta move in with your parents, though. Ready to give all this up for New York? No, this place is amazing. It's like the OG food court. It's the best. This whole street's the best. Well, Broadway? Yeah. You can buy stuff on Broadway for the same price they sell for in Mexico. Really? Yeah, three hats, 10 bucks. Are they made of flour? Corn, actually. <laughs> this whole place used to be carne asada, pig heads, butcher shops. Now there's like a hipster juice bar. I hate hipsters. Hate is a strong word, Miles. Don't give me your bullshit compassion. These hipsters come in and they like take over our authentic LA. Now there's a Urban Outfitters and Ace Hotel on Broadway. Would you rather the property sits empty and languishes? No, but they just think they're so fucking cool. You think they're so fucking cool? Yeah, but I can just be cool by like showing people I'm cool. I don't need like a fucking mustache. 
Whatever, Miles. You have a uniform the same as everybody else. Do I? Yeah. You shop at Penguin, and you wear lucky jeans, you like ball caps, and you wear white t-shirts. I can name three guys that dress just like you. Please don't. Just saying, you're not special. Wow. Single tear rolling down my cheek for the next three hours. People who wear one uniform, they love to look down on people who wear another uniform. It's just a human race. I know really cool hipsters, and I know super douche hipsters. I know really cool guys that dress like you, and I know super douches that dress like you. That's the cool thing about LA, you know? It's like, no matter what your uniform is, there's a neighborhood for you. Yeah, but some uniforms still suck. Like what? The Nazi uniform? I don't know. I guess I've never met a cool Nazi, but uh, there's still time. <laughs> You like to push my buttons. What's your uniform, Miss Know-It-All? I don't have a uniform. Oh. There's a uniform. Oh There's a uniform. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 o
There's hope that someday I'll have what they have. You will. It's all gonna work out. Will it? I think it will. But I mean, there's a chance that it doesn't work out, right? I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a possibility. Yes, there's a possibility that it won't work out. Weird. It's like when we tell people it'll all work out, how do, how do we know? We don't. We just lie to them and make them feel better about it. But I'm not talking about the situation. I'm talking about you, because I know you. You're a survivor. Shit's gonna get thrown at us our whole lives. You gotta deal with it. You take it in, you laugh, you cry, you learn what you can, and you move on. Is that the lamp from the Christmas story? That is the most beautiful thing in LA. <laughs> Okay, that could be your most beautiful thing. And it's so much better than your most beautiful oh, thing. Oh, whatever. What am I gonna do, Miles? What am I gonna do? Waterfall? What did you just say? Waterfall. Oh, man, I haven't done a waterfall. I feel like we need a waterfall. Really? I'm prepared to go against everything TLC taught me and start chasing me some waterfalls. Guys out here with these. Bro, don't touch me, bro. Sorry. Don't touch me, bro. <laughs> Sam's calling. You want to answer it? Nah. Fuck it. You sure? Yeah. Why don't we skip anymore? Oh, whoa, whoa. guys, don't skip. Guys, don't skip. Okay, we we, we freestyle walk. You freestyle walk? Yeah, yeah, freestyle walk. Check it. Look at this. Oh, oh. You like that? Wow. could do a sport like that. It takes the strength, right? Oh, yeah, no, I've been working on my leg muscles for years. Luckily, I am not any woman. Wait, are you gonna, are you gonna, no, do it at your own risk. I can't promise you're not gonna get seriously injured. All right, ready? Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> toe tap? <laughs> Just the toe tap. That's amateur hour. Wow, I didn't see you do it. I didn't want to show you anything you couldn't handle. Oh, oh, yeah. anything I can handle, right? Yeah. All right, why don't you show me something I can't handle? You want to see something you can't handle? Yeah. Back up a little bit. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Oh, why oh, did you? Oh, my nuts. Ah. Oh, fuck you, meter. <laughs> fuck you. Now who's yelling at the parking meter? What, are you all right? Oh, that hurt my nuts. What is this? What is, what is happening? This is awesome. This is our walk. Wait, the vice mayor of LA has never been to Arbok? I've always wanted to come down to Arbok. I've just never made it. This is awesome. Welcome. Have you ever had anything show here? Nope. Oh, so you're going to move to New York to open up a gallery where you can just do it here? Well, this is the dilemma. What's the dilemma? Well, imagine this, but every day, not just once a month. Oh, yeah, but this, that is New York. this could be every day. This could be every day. It would just take a little bit of time, you know? But you'd be part of something. Yeah! 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 We need Fuck a soundtrack. <laughs> you got the iPod, DJ. Tana, turn it up.
here? What am I doing here? These are my photos. No way. Oh, these are beautiful. Thanks. Yeah, I called you earlier to invite you out. I'm glad you decided you want to rock. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I'm here too, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm here with uh, with Miles, my my oldest friend from high school, Miles. Pleasure to meet you, Miles. Miles. Hey, hey, uh, nice to meet you, man. Really cool work. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the bathroom. You guys want something to drink? Uh, wine? Yeah, none for me. No drinking on the job. <laughs> uh, when did you take these? When did you get so sexy? <laughs> I mean, I don't want to get in the way of whatever you guys. Oh yeah, no, not at all. We're uh, we're gonna get coffee tomorrow. I had no idea this stuff was so good. Loved it. Cool. Wish we could just get on the trolley and go home. The trolley used to run all the way from downtown to the beach. Yeah, relax, Miles. I saw Roger Rabbit, too. What is that? Oh, that is the new-ish Catholic church. That's it? That's it. Jesus, that's ugly. I don't know. It's not that bad. Is Catholic architecture supposed to make you feel, like, closer to God or something? Yeah, I think that was the original intention in the Middle Ages, yeah. It makes me want to feel closer to Home Depot. Did they even finish sanding it? Be nice. I read that it's gorgeous inside. Be nice? I think I should be nice to the Catholic Church. I don't have to be nice to the Catholic Church. They're basically the biggest organized crime syndicate in the planet. They're worse than FIFA. You're just shitting on the architecture because it's a Catholic Church. No, no. It's also ugly. peaceful in there. I don't know. I mean, I agree. The outside kind of... It's weird, but I liked it inside. It's so ugly. I don't mind it not being so flashy on the outside, you know? I think that's what true religion is. You don't have to flaunt it on the outside. You just be beautiful on the inside. Right, because that's the Catholic Church's MO, not flaunting it. I think in this case, yeah, that's the way it is. I want to get something from the gift shop. Do you want to drink? Gift shop. Yeah, it's a perfect example of how the Catholic Church really cares about people's inner spirituality. Jesus, Miles. My thoughts exactly. You're being a dick. I'm sorry. Did you want to buy like a $4 bottle of water? You want to buy like a $300 chintzy cross? Fucking go for it. They buy that shit on Broadway. That's what organized religion does. They buy it over there and they bring it in here. They mark it up. They sell it to suckers. Don't get mad at me because I buy my shit on Broadway. I'm mad at you because you're being completely insensitive and close-minded. Since when did you become a fucking apologist for the organization that caused more wars than anybody else in the history of the world and fucking protects pedophiles? I'm not an apologist, Miles. Have you ever heard of Mother Teresa? Because she was Catholic and she's fucking Oh my cool. God, how can you buy into the Catholic Church's line of BS? 
When did you become so religious? I'm not religious, Miles, but I respect other people who are. It's called respecting other people's beliefs and opinions, even if they're different from yours. Yeah, but you have to be a fucking moron to buy into their line of BS. You know what? If you're if your bullshit meter is like that faulty, then maybe you should just start rethinking everything because I don't think you're gonna survive in New York. Like if you could get duped by a bunch of 70 year old white guys in Rome, I don't think any New Yorker is gonna pay shit for your art. Maybe you should rethink everything, Miles. Cause you know everything there is to know about LA, right? But you don't know shit about yourself. Well, 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 my, my fiance is cheating on me. I hate being a teacher. I'm gonna go cry in my mom's bed for three days. You know what? I don't have that. I don't have mommy's shoulder to cry on. Do you ever hear me complaining about life ever? No, because I'm too busy fucking taking care of everybody else, Miles. I, I take care of my mom and then I took care of my dad and now I'm here fucking taking care of you. When do I ever have time to take care of myself? And yeah, I might go to New York and I might fucking fall on my ass, but you know what? At least I'll know that I fucking tried. I can look myself in the mirror at the end of the day and say, at least I'm not a giant fucking pussy like Miles. At least I fucking tried. I didn't fucking ask for you to come today. I didn't ask for any of this. Miles. No, game's over. Fuck it. Miles. Fuck off. Please, can we just go, please, together? No. Becca, give me my phone. Game's over. Now you want to talk to her? You did not just do that. You did not just throw my phone into the lake. Go fish it out and see. Okay. No, 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 don't. You're going to feel like shit for that. You know what? It's impossible to feel any shittier than you're making me feel right now. Last thing I wanted to do was burden anybody with my problems, okay? Remember, you came to me today. I didn't ask for you, I didn't ask for this day, and I'm still not asking for it. Miles, it's me. Look, I cheated, but I didn't have sex with anyone. We just got drunk at a bar and made out with some guy I don't even know. It was really stupid and I was really drunk and I'm so sorry. I know we can work this out. Call me back, please. I love you so much. I... something that I never, I've never told anyone, but my mom wasn't very religious, you know, but at the end of the last few months, right before she died, she, she started talking to a priest. And although she was at her weakest from the chemotherapy and she was in so much pain and she was withering away before my eyes. It's the only thing that gave her a sense of hope. So maybe it's bullshit, Miles, maybe it's bullshit, I don't know, but it made her feel better about dying. And for that, I will always be grateful. I'm sorry. Sorry about everything I said. I'm 
Sam wanted to get married at that church. I said no. Uh, well, we've bussed, we've walked, we've subwayed all over the city. You know one thing we haven't done? Paddle boat. Paddle boat. How nice is this? <laughs> My dad grew up right around here. Where? Angelino Heights. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's where the house from Charmed is. You watched Charmed? Ah, uh, Angelino Heights. <laughs> I've got porch envy already. Porch envy? Yeah, I love porches. Since when? Remember my apartment in college? 2414? Great porch. People would just stop by, barbecue, drink beers. Porches bring people together. Interesting. My dad grew up right around this corner. Wanna yeah. check it out? Yeah. Whoa, this looks like a cool party. Sounds like they have a band. Come on. Dad's house is a couple down. Screw your dad, let's go dance. We don't know anybody in there. So? Hipsters. Come on. Sounds like robot gangbang. <laughs> Rock. Holy shit. Huh. Houston. It's Houston. Holy shit. <laughs> so take your things Houston. Time. Houston. I don't want you to. Do you remember us? From the bus? Oh! Yeah! Sorry I was being a dick, I just had to take a shit. All good. It's all good now, yeah. So, uh, who do you guys know here? You! Yeah! Let's party! Yeah! <laughs> Oh my god, you're here. You're so soft. Ow. It smells like cotton candy. I love it. <laughs> Can we make out? Maybe later. I'm glad you're wearing your best man. Oh my god, you're so soft. I hope you weren't planning on talking to your friend much tonight. Looks like Will fell in love. It's all good. I think she needs a Miles break. <laughs> I'm Sarah. A Miles. I kind of got that. Sarah's gonna show me where the drinks are. You want one? Yeah, give me one. I'll be right back. So you're really from here? Yeah, born and raised. Wow, I don't think I've ever actually met someone from LA. My dad grew up a couple houses down. That's actually why I was walking by. Thanks for the beer, Miles. Back off, fuck, sorry. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll go grab you one. Oh, thanks. Good day. How do you know if you actually know someone? Uh, I think you just kind of know. Isn't it kind of, like, terrifying to think that 
You know, like you think you might know someone, but you really don't. What if we come up with a test? Is that possible? So you'll know like foolproof. Is that yeah. possible? Yeah. Um, okay, how about this? What color are my eyes? Becca. Hi, I also color my eyes. I'm like a dude. I don't know my mom's eye color. Well, it's like 15 years. Dude, what color are my eyes? It's a trick question. How so? Because your eyes change color with the light. Yeah. For a second. Why? I don't know, maybe your eyes didn't change color. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nights like tonight. Make me feel happy to be alive. Like, if we could just look out into the stars, and as the smoke clears, and we see everything that's going on. Taco Tuesday! 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 Taco Tues
What are you gonna do? Uh, we gotta get together with Sam and just figure out if there's anything still there. What about the family meeting? No, pal. Oh, wow. <laughs> Calling my mom and saying this is about me and Sam and it's nobody else's business. Good for you. I'm probably gonna need this. What is that? So you throw that in the lake. It was my compact. I don't have a compact. I threw your phone in the lake. I told you you were gonna feel like shit. It's just a phone. Besides, at least now you're even. What's that supposed to mean? Sam left a couple voicemails. She didn't have sex with that guy, they just kissed. You check my voicemail? At least you have your phone. Look, I'm not saying that you should get back together, but at least now you're even. You really are something. <laughs> well, if you're ever in New York, you can always crash on my couch. A couch? Yeah, Buster, couch. Makes you think you're gonna have room for a couch. <laughs>